Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith of the Smiths in the Black channel here at Ticker Talker TV. And if it's Tuesday, it's the Wheels in Motion show. Let's get it going here. So we've got the... Whoop, yep. So we've got the Spy and just doing this grind here. And so the monthly we knew here, we had the inside month and up last month. Now trying to continue, well, obviously we just started the month out. And so when we look for the continuation patterns, we get this, the two up two down and boom boom and into the recent high so it is what it is i mean we're just starting off the month and so qqq here also doing the same thing grinding closer to the highs and so we just want to see once we take out last month's highs that we stay above there and qqq is above 233.60 and spy here getting there just like 306.84, so you just want to stay above those levels, and if that's true, then we're still two on our way up. So, um, if we take a look at um, utilities, here's uh, where we got our first uh, motion here from signals. Inside, inside months, all right, and we take the XLU takes out 60 and starts going, and that's going to get pretty much all of them going. You got Southern Company here, and that's an inside month. Now, Obviously, we've got a lot of room to take all these kind of things out of here, but for right now, to start off, XLU, Southern Company above 5770. You've got EXC here inside month, and that's above 3871. It's there right now. Uh, if we go to Duke, Duke Par, and that's above 8637, and Peggy. Hello, my name is Peggy, P-E-G, so that's about 51.33, so you get the idea going over there. Believe it or not, we're getting some movement out of the Urals. Uh, so finally, although UCO here is a, a split of death, but you can see this climb back, you know, and look at this move. I mean, UCO uh, from down in 11 to, um, uh, you know, to 26, not bad. So if we go to some of that stuff, Exxon goes and does this. Inside month to the upside, inside inside month, and that's going to be about forty-seven fifteen. It just took it out, so we'll see if anything can really get going. You got Amarada Hess because inside inside month here over fifty oh five, and inside weaken up for Amarada Hess. Uh, we've got Helmrich Payne in the OIH fighting to come back out of this thing here inside month inside inside month to the upside, and you can watch more of those movers and see like PXD or EOG. Some of these things can get going. Concho CXO because we look like uh, XLE here was inside month barely to the upside but uh, now picking up a little more steam so we'll see how about OIH here still coming out of the garbage can uh, <laughs> but it was inside month and up last night but last time so we'll see slob all the usual suspects fighting for life but we'll see um, if we go to HTHT Huaza, and that's an inside month to the upside. And one of the good things about inside months to the upside here is you do have some more of these guys to take out. And that's what you want to have, more pivot levels to take out that guys can be short against. And this gives you the combo because you've got the inside weak up, outside, inside, up. And so when we take this, the, the, the magnitude is to take this out. The good thing is you're still inside of here or were, and now we're taking that out and coming back up through here. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, YY here, another nice inside weaker to the upside, and once again, the things we like are the things that are not totally blasting into the highs and have been a lot higher, and that's what we call a used to be somebody YY. You got the dog food, Chewy, and that takes the inside month to the upside. We call that Momo Hammer because it backs off, comes up, and anybody stayed short this thing last, last month, boom, they get taken out right there, and that's what happened, and you had an outside week. Like so, and there you go. Outside week to the upside, chewing with the inside month and up. You've got travelers here. Travelers is what we look for also. The inside month break down and then come back through rev strat style. And so here, that's good all month over 108.76. I'm going to take that out, and then we'll see how much higher we can take that. You've got progressive PGR trying to go inside month up here and trying to get out of this range. Like so, over 78.80. Um, if we go to um, UPS, UPS coming up on an inside month in the trainings, and obviously this thing's been a lot higher too. And when you see the slight higher highs, like so, and the lower lows, there's your broadening formation. Now, 
see if we can start getting this thing going. If you look at the trannies, you'll see this. Just kind of stalled out one month and upper, but we'll see if we can keep climbing the wall of worry because the the more Rome burns, the more it spy rips, or so I say, grinds. We've got the towers, S back tower. S back tower here, inside month to the upside. Now it's going straight into the high, so it's got to keep going. But you're also going to have an inside day. And the good thing about something like this is we know what trades together with CCI here and Merktar. Inside month to the upside, and also going to be an inside day for tomorrow to see if we can keep uh, those going. Planet Fitness. <laughs> and so the good thing about this, they're like, but their gyms are closed. But yeah, but the good thing is that people who go to Planet Fitness aren't in shape, and so they, they don't they their their business plan is that people aren't going to show up anyway. Now they have an excuse, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not really a big difference for them. Anyway, starting off the week with Momo Hammer coming up, and you can see this on the monthly. Taking out last month's highs in this multiple inside pattern. So these two bars were completely inside of this, which makes it a compound inside bar, which is now being taken out. You're not, then into this outside bar here, which is a broadening formation. So if you can stay above this here, 71.35. Going to go take this out if we don't have uh, a reversal against us. So you've got Tesla. And Tesla inside month and the upside here and trying to go. And so... Uh, We'll see. Like I said, it's directional because it's going up at the highs. Stalls out on a Tuesday, so, you know, we'll see. But it is inside month and up. Texas Instruments and Tejas went inside day to trigger inside month here. And you can see this still has some more room up in here to go to the highs. And if you look at something like Xilinx, too, uh, it's not inside month, but it's taking out last month's highs and back into this old outside bar and nowhere near the highs, which is good because of all these things that have just been blasting, like ZM earnings tonight. Uh, taking this thing higher, and that's also an inside month to the upside. If you take a look at Overstock, and Overstock, another used to be somebody up in here, and now we've got our inside week to the upside. See, and there we go. So one up, two up, two down, inside, boom. So this is a reversal because this took out these lows here. Then it goes inside, and it either continues down or it reverses back higher. Where, guess where the stops are? Here, here, and here. So it takes those guys out, but uh, we'll see if there's more in the tank. You got W here, outside week back up to the upside. So they stop them out down in here, see if they're going to go back up and take out the highs. Working on it. It was a nice day for W today. The inside day to the upside. A lot of nice inside days today. Uh, if we go to burritos are back, and after the triangle, they out. And so burritos, when you see this, Big outside weaker, but then it's a new week starting over. And so you'll see this here. This slight lower low here. And then here was a slight higher high. That's a 2-2 reversal right here. A little tricky to see. But what that means is, and we start coming back up in here. Okay, so we're going to see if the burritos can take this out and be an outside bar of all that going forward and re-blast. Uh, we've got uh, KC in the sunshine band, new issue, KC, and this doing this here on well, the weekly. We come up, goes public, goes 2-2 reversal here by taking those lows out, 2 up, boom, goes out, goes inside, gives us the 2, 1, 2 reversal on the weekly, inside week and up. That's good all week, we'll see what comes of that. If we go to EFX, EFX you can see here, tight range. Broadening formation, higher high, lower low, and then boom, coming all the way back, and it does this on the monthly here. Another one of those good inside months and up, just blasting in the highs. You got some exhaustion risk, but certainly having a nice day today, and we'll see if there's anything comes through on that. You've got Carvana. Carvana had a nice inside day, and this is what you look for. Coming back through previous range. Anybody short? It's going to be short against that, 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 or that. Boom. We call that the pivot machine gun. <coughs> boom. Gone. So we'll see. Carvana's got a little bit more room for all-time highs, and so we'll see if that continues to follow through. Tiffany's had some news today, and oh boy, <laughs> they took her to the woodshed real fast here. So good chance it goes inside day tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, you know, when you have a range like that, it's something you want to pay attention to for some shorter-term setups, and we'll see what comes of that. 60, there you go. There's your inside 60 to start off the day. That's going to be kind of like a month, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, not too much weakness just to start the week and the month off. you got Amgen slightly doing this 
slightly red and not coming up for the first two days. Not the end of the world, but it is what it is. And you have WLTW in the REITs. One of the few that probably the inside weekend down, so we'll see if that uh, follows through at all. And Pfizer gap down on an inside week and then comes back. So this continuity would have to change, and that means this color would have to go red. And it opened at 3550. If you get Pfizer below that, that's where you get my attention. But we're just starting off a new month, and you know, so you know, let them open, let them play around a little bit here. We're still grinding into the highs, and we'll see. We had a little bit of weakness also in gold today. Not the end of the world, but. We always look for things and then outside bars. And how, how do you get outside of that? That's going to do it for this week. I'm Rob Smith here at the Wheels in Motion Show at the Smiths and the Black Channel on Ticket Doctor TV.